Okay, let's do my nails because they look really bad. So let's fix them. Voila, done. Not my best work, but since I don't have nail remover, that's the best I can do. And guys, so today is the 12th of February, almost 11 a.m. And today I'm gonna go to Watpo Temple. It's the temple of the Klein Buddha, the one that's like laying on his side. I also realize it's the gold place of the traditional Thai massage, so maybe that's why he's laying. He's so relaxed after having a massage. Anyway, I'm gonna go check what they have for breakfast in this hostel post, and from there we're gonna go. So, let's do that. We have watermelon, veggies, salad, and toast with some jam. So we have made a breakfast. Toast, salad, and some watermelon. Before we head to the temple, we made a stop at this exchange. Can I exchange it? They had a really good rate, so if you need to exchange in Bangkok, go to Pani Money Exchange. <laughs> hey, I'm here with Kevin. We're all on our way to Wat Pu Temple. Uh, yeah, so we both finished exchanging. We have like 20 minutes back, I think, so we'll see you there. So as we are walking, here are some details about the temple we are heading to. Wat Prakeo, also known as the Temple of the Emerald Buddha, considered to be one of the most sacred Buddhist temples in Thailand. So we are right at the entrance. See, my pants are not long enough, you have to have pants that cover your knees. Luckily, one of the guys borrowed me his Thai pants, so lovely, I'm gonna change now so I can enter. So back from inside, I just wear them on top of my pants. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit warm, but you do what you have to do, so shogunite. As you can see, this place is huge. It looks like the size of a city and it's loaded with tourists. So just have it in mind as you come visit. Plus, you need to wear long pants or like me, the guard will stop you from coming in until you change for one. The buildings themselves are beautiful and well kept. Plus, from what I read, it's tradition for each king to add, restore and embellish the temple during the reign to glorify their dynasty. The entrance ticket also came with a ticket for a live show, but unfortunately I took too long to use it and by the time I wanted to use it, I had a flight back home. We kept exploring the temple that was decorated with some gorgeous wall art. They also ended out a short brochure with information in five different languages. Shoes to get in, typical in Thai temple. And we were out to explore another temple that I can't remember its name. Uh, sadly, they don't allow to record inside. Uh, where did I put them? Yay! I saved it. <laughs> and here are some more extremely detailed wall art. It actually looks like a huge movie presented to you on the wall. This part looks to me like a wedding between two breeds, maybe human and reptilians, since some of the guests are green. <laughs> so now we're on our way to the palace. Here we reach the Grand Palace, the more deserted place in the temple. Uh, I think it's because most of the palace looks like it's under construction. I still adore this beautiful Turkey's door. And kudos to all the guards for staying still for such a long time. I can't imagine anyone in the Western world staying still for so long without checking their phone. <laughs> and that was the Grand Palace. Now we're at the entrance of the Emerald Buddha. Unfortunately, I couldn't record here either. My shoes and we're out of the Emerald Buddha Museum. Oh, they have a little fountain here, you can wet your feet, which I feel so much because it's so warm. I'll try not to wet my pants because they're not mine. Oh, so nice! If I had my swimsuit, I would go all in. Okay, so I'm gonna go bathroom break so I can remove those lovely pants. Believe it or not, that was my first time visiting Starbucks, but to be honest, I wasn't that impressed. And it was cool seeing those guys playing a board game that kinda looked like Katan. 
felt a really warm day after we visit also the big temple, the big Buddha temple, so I feel like something cold. Look, they have a huge Dorian stand here that is not open. Maybe luckily, because the smell would probably be really intense. Oh, what a cute stand. Look at those pretty earrings. Even a little gemstone earrings. Oh my gosh, it feels like my kind of place. Have the crystal pyramid that they really wanted. So cool, they show here the belt stone for each month. Look, September, it's sapphire. They sell all kind of bizarre crafts. Anyway, I feel like trying this ice cream sandwich. So here they sell this exotic dessert of ice cream in a bread bun. So of course I had to try. I do the chocolate, this one, and the candy one. Got my ice cream bread. It comes with three scoops of tiny ice cream, some leeches and candies. And yeah, we're gonna try it. Tada Kima! Quite a weird thing to eat. I don't think I can actually hold it as a sandwich and take a bite. So I start with the ice cream and then I reach the bread. It was alright, but I think I prefer the classic cone. At this point, we split from the two other guys we met at the hostel, and Kevin and I continue to the Wat Pao temple. Quite a warm day. I need one of those pals along the fence. So I need a ticket from here. It costs 200 baht. The ticket for the reclined Buddha. Such a decorative ticket, I like it. And it also gives you a free bottle of water, which I desperately need because I run out of water, like always. Anyway, this is the temple. This temple wasn't as big as the first one we visit, but I enjoy exploring this one so much more since it was full with beautiful fountain and some weird statues in some bizarre yoga position. Plus, it was way less crowded with people. Look how pretty that the temples are decorated with flowers. It's gonna look like an hamster. You lucky dog, you! Oh man, I'm, I'm envious of this dog. Kinda look like a sheep. <laughs> Statues are so flexible. Look at this guy stretch. His leg seems awfully short, I think. So I'm gonna say temporarily farewell to my shoes as we go in. Another Buddha, really big one, it's not the line one. Another beautiful vaza that was full with drawing that looked like it's telling a story. This one looks like origami. Oh, it's made out of fabric, not paper. I like that their face is goatee and not their, usually what they do, they do like the, the feet as goat and a human face. This one is different. Wow, look at this waterfall. Don't you feel like soaking in? I want to jump in to get This looks so refreshing. Free water. Look, it even has the logo of the place. I thought it's going to be a big one, but right now I'm so totally like whatever they get. Show this time, this is the entrance for the reclined Buddha. So you take a bag from here to put your shoes. Okay, and then we go inside. So after much exploring, we finally found the reclining Buddha and it was viewed just as we imagined. You can't really see him fully because of the poles holding the building, so you can only take a glimpse of him from different angles. And if you thought the body was impressive, just look at those feet. He even have lines to imitate fingerprints and the whole back of his feet is full with detail and beautiful drawing that look like a huge collage. We can see 
can see is the bump. <laughs> Apparently there is only one way to get out. So it became the one way. Now we need to start with the Buddha once more. Wow. <laughs> Found the shortcut. Follow me. Look. Oh, yes, it's faster. It is. It's a detour. See? I'm here people put some coins, I guess, for good luck. Look how much the Buddha collected. This is for students' scholarship? Oh, I think so, yeah. Only from the back I noticed the golden Buddha have some curly hair. So Kevin found us another free water bottle. Good job, Kevin. We put this one here. And take one here. Oh, good, because I'm so thirsty. There's a cat here. This one has a lot of hands. It's probably very efficient. So the kids are watering their garden. That's so cute. It looks like we reached their kindergarten. It seems like they have a school here. And they have a little star system. And they have the minions. I love the minions. Kevin wants to go ring the bell. I'm daring you to go. I won't tell. The problem, they have like too many people here. You need to do it like the challenging way. Instead of using the stealth, you need to climb from here. Wow, look at this. The monkey is feeding a squirrel. We have a cat here with a collar. And the squirrel is right there, it's going up the tree. Bye squirrel! This temple also had a drinking water filling spot, which is lovely and so kind for tourists, plus it saves a lot of plastic, and the best part about this temple, it was way less crowded, and much more fun to explore. So if I should recommend on one temple to visit in Bangkok, it's definitely this one. Plus its ticket is cheaper than the first one we visit that cost 500 baht. Just here, among the very flexible statues, we can see a sleeping cat. <laughs> Some people left money for him, maybe to show appreciation for his pain. He looks suffering, look at his face. <laughs> look at this pretty butterfly. Be like the monk. Now let Kevin here choose our restaurant for today. So we have Mike Katie, we have Ethos behind us. We have another restaurant just between them, and you can pick. It's Ethos, I already ate here once. Wasn't my favorite, but we're gonna redo the experience and maybe choose really good food this time. So I'm in Ethos once again, and this time I'm gonna try the fried rice with sweet basil and mixed vegetables. It's come with broccoli, and I love broccoli, so I'm gonna try this. I order basil and veggies rice, or rice in a basil sauce, and a banana shake. And Kevin ordered a pomegranate shake and some... I'm not sure what that was, but <laughs> yeah, that's it. Itadakimasu! So this time the meal was better than last time. The rice was quite simple, but came with a lot of variety of vegetables. Uh, I can tell you, consider the other vegan restaurant uh, you have in this area, uh, this one is quite average. I'm here at the 7-Eleven to get me some snacks for dinner. And since I didn't eat since lunch, let's see what we're gonna get. So I got this mochi ice cream filled with purple sweet potato. It comes in this plastic box, I guess, uh, to keep it shape. And they give you a little fog. How convenient. And also a lot of plastic. Good. I like yeah, purple sweet potato ice cream. Me and Kevin gonna play Janga Janga. We also had a huge one, but we couldn't figure out to take it out, so we went for the smaller one. Yeah. You need to. Oh man, we thought he's not gonna find one. Man! Haha! <laughs> Swoosh! <laughs> he managed to take the one I didn't. We're getting into a pickle, not much left. 
I'm gonna stay away from for no reason. I'm just gonna take some space. <laughs> oh, oh no, that's that's yes, cool. Okay. Yay! That was a good try. Okay. <laughs> I think someone maybe ran out of options. No. No, wait, it's not out yet. Come on. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh come on. Oh man. Okay. Well, I just lost everything splatter. It happened like five seconds after I put the block. But yeah, we're on one run right now, and this is the important game that's gonna set it all. I just bought this snack that looks exactly like a pro an Israeli snack. Let's see if it tastes the same. It does, it tastes just like a pro That was the fastest game we ever played. We basically, I pulled one, Kevin pulled one, and it's crash. So I just, I just <laughs> won. Okay guys, so this is the end for this video, if you like please leave a like and subscribe and until the next chapter of my uh, travel in Thailand, bye bye!